This Farm to Fork segment is sponsored by NetFM. I was hoping to get a little deeper into what water actually does for us here in the valley, and I'm talking again with Tom Gracie of Madera Irrigation District. Tom, it's not just moving water around the valley and just getting it to ag growers. Tell me a little bit about how we recharge groundwater, uh, especially how Madera Irrigation District does it. Yeah, the most efficient way to get water in the ground is to not take it out. So direct delivery to our growers provides a one-to-one -one ratio of water going back into the ground. But just simply filling of our canals provides a great recharge opportunity. We have earthen canals throughout the district, over 300 miles, that provides a constant recharge. Along with that, we've, uh, we put water into recharge basins that will percolate water back into the aquifer and now we are exploring and starting to implement new programs with on-farm recharge where we simply over apply water to our ag crops which provides excess water which makes its way into the aquifer. And it's not just by draining you know some of our lakes dry you're doing this in years when we have the excess water so why not use it while you've got it? Yeah the key is to capitalize on those wet years and put as much water in the ground when we have abundant supplies. Now you service a lot of different crops you can talk a little bit about that but are there specific crops that we can't drown out and others that are better for recharge? Yeah, so studies are being completed on that. We're looking at grapevines and actually almonds being able to take a significant amount of water to put it back into the ground. Now you talked a little bit about the canals in this segment, but there are also a, a massive series of pipelines to move water, so we're not even uh, worried anymore about evaporation through those because of the way we move it, and it's never even affected by the sun. Yeah, so we have, uh, we have canal, but we also have pipelines, so the pipelines don't lose water like our canals do. But so their side benefits at canals is that you're putting water into the aquifer. Sure. And another great benefit that we don't talk about is we're cleaning up the ground. So when we've put on different uh, chemicals or even fertilizer applications, now by using clean surface water, we're benefiting the environment. Yeah, there's a lot of benefits besides just water supply for surface water. One, it's pristine water. It's clean. It helps flush the soils and provides a great, great benefit for the crops. Sure. There is quite the infrastructure to move in water around this valley, and nobody does it better than Madera Irrigation District. For Farm to Fork, I'm Rich Kreps.